Hello and welcome to this week's Touchcast. I'm Rory Kathleen Jones and this is my little home studio in Ealing. Remember, you can tap on anything at any stage when something appears in the corner, what they call a VAP in Touchcast Talk. Uh, when you do that, you get taken to other content. So, for instance, there's a VAP with my Twitter account at Ruskin147. By the way, a little experiment this week. I'm using two cameras, the webcam in my desktop computer there, but also a GoPro there, which is uh, it's being controlled, there you see, by this, uh, by this iPad. So, uh, a little bit of an experiment, a two camera shoot. Uh, looking back at the week then, what's been new in the wacky world of technology? Well, it's all been about drones and robots. First of all, Amazon made the news with a rather unlikely plan to deliver parcels uh, within 30 minutes using drones. Uh, they've put a little video which I think you can see by clicking uh, on their website there. A uh, little thing that looks much like a, a remote controlled helicopter picking up a parcel, uh, dropping it on somebody's lawn. Um, extremely unlikely, all, all uh, the analysts basically said. Uh, all sorts of regulatory reasons why that would not be allowed. And of course, cynics amongst us said is this a PR stunt? Could it have been Cyber Monday when they unveiled this plan? One of the busiest shopping days uh, of the year, perhaps. Uh, it has to be said, though, uh, Jeff Bezos is an incredibly ambitious guy. He's talked about um, space shots in the past, so uh, don't underestimate him. And there are going to be commercial uses of drones. Now, I wouldn't bank on getting my parcels delivered in my back garden by an Amazon drone very soon. Anyway, a couple of days later, it was Google uh, with something new. It revealed it had bought up a whole bunch of robotics firms and was going to have a big drive into robotics. It all came uh, in an interview in the New York Times. Uh, in charge of this whole effort, Andy Rubin. Uh, what did he use to run? Android, ironically. Uh, the Android operating system. So, Mr. Android now has big plans for Google robots, though what they are still isn't quite clear. Lots of talk again of them taking on um, taking on Amazon with uh, robotic uh, cars. I mean, obviously, they've already got their uh, self-driving cars. So uh, another uh, land grab by Google, perhaps, in the robotics field. Uh, much closer to home, I've been taking a look at what's gone wrong with a great big government uh, IT project, the project to uh, bring in universal credit. Um, that's been a bit of a disaster and I go through the reasons why uh, in my blog, you can read it there. Uh, lots of lessons to be learned about why big IT projects go wrong, uh, largely about ceding control to outside contractors rather than developing skills in-house. And finally, Mike Lynch of Autonomy fame, who had that big falling out with HP, uh, they accused him of pulling the wool over their eyes, remember, uh, over what price he sold them his company Autonomy for. Uh, that row still ongoing. Meanwhile, he's, he's invested uh, in a new venture, uh, an augmented reality app called Tagger. Uh, started, guess what, by people who left HP uh, left the autonomy division of HP where they worked on something called Orasma. So Tagger, uh, uh, you can see a bit more of it in a, in a blog post I've done there. Uh, but let's do the most dangerous thing you can do in tech, a live demo. Um, I've got the app open. It's basically the idea that you see um, uh, your, your, your camera, your, your, web, your webcam, your any kind of camera. Oh, here it goes. Uh, it's having a look at my... I'm going to look at my business card. Here we go. <laughs> so, uh, little live demo. That's this week's technology news. We'll have more next week. Um, and keep looking at the BBC website and my blog. Thank you very much.